Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology, and we have Vanita Jividas again. And today we are going to record on appearance. And she was explaining to me what she is going to speak, and she is also looking very beautiful today. So, as usual, of course. So she is going to speak on appearance, and I am also delighted. And she messaged me that let's do it on this topic, and I was like, <laughs> not bad. So. Welcome, madam. Once again, nice to have you back. Great to see you again. Please enlighten us. Thank you, Baba Ji. Thank you, Exotic Astrology, for having me. Thank you so much. And yes, I I always love to be a part of Exotic Astrology and be on your channel. I always, uh, you know, ha I look forward to it. And first of all, twenty five k. Wow, <laughs> subscribers to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Big big channel and it is growing it's, it will grow and grow and grow that is my uh, uh, wish and prayer with you definitely so thank you so much and today definitely i'm going to be explaining uh, what i do when i see a chart because there are people who come to me uh, you know um, they send the details birth details and then i have to understand what uh, the personality of the person is so seeing uh, without seeing the person and just seeing the chart, how can we do that? So we have, there is a lot of, uh, though there is a lot of uh, material on the internet, but this is something which I am going to share with you as to how I see the chart, as to how I judge the personality of the person without seeing that person. So first of all, I see the Rashi chart, that is the, uh, the B1. The Lagna chart, that is the Lagna, the first house, which is the rising sign of yours. That is what I see. Then I see the D9 chart, which Lagna is rising in the D9 chart. Then I understand how these, because, you know, it will modify the personality. If uh, suppose somebody is uh, on the bulkier side, looking bulkier in the D1 and is looking leaner in the D9. So it will be coming to, you know, in between kind of a neither fat nor, uh, you know, too lean. So this is something which I do. And uh, this is not a sun sign that I read. This is only not the moon sign. Also, I'm talking of, I'm just talking about the Lagna, the ascendant, the rising sign at the time of birth. So this actually, you know, I also see the elements. They play a very important role. Uh, what is the element of uh, the rising sign? Whether it's a fiery one, it's a watery, earthy, or uh, airy. So that is also I have to see. Uh, you all must see, in fact, whosoever is hearing. You can, uh, even if you're not an astrologer, you will come to know, uh, seeing the rising sign, you will know the personality of the person. <clears throat> then I see the um, aspects or the position of the planets where the planet is posited and whether is it conjunct with the lagna or lagna lord or whether it is aspecting that lagna that will also modify quite a lot of things so whether the sign is a fixed sign or a movable sign or a dual sign that also has to be seen whether there's a malefic or a benefic influence see we all do this uh, this is the preliminary stage that we have to we all must do when we're reading the chart you have seen so many videos of uh, maybe Babajit also and of the other people who are on the YouTube. So uh, there are, you know, these are the uh, these are the prelim preliminary stages to read the chart, the personality. Then the characteristics will be, uh, you know, clear to you at least seeing all this. Now you, I have also seen when a movable sign is rising. Suppose one, four, seven, ten, Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn. If they, this, either of these signs is rising, you know, what happens, uh, they walk fast, these people, because they are movable Rashis. So they, and if at all, um, these are uh, influenced by Mercury, then these people will talk fast also. They will speak very fast. That's something which is very, very common. In 70 to 80% of the charts, I've seen people are of this. And if it is, uh, you know, the rising is uh, impacted by Mars. So I've seen that the person is very aggressive and at the same time, very reactive also. Suppose Aries rising, you know, it is uh, dominated by uh, Mars. So it is, it has Martian effect as it is. 
and if Mars is seated in the Lagna or is aspected by Lagna also in from the 10th or the from the 7th house or whatever then also the person is very reactive aggressive and reactive and if Saturn is influencing that the person would walk slowly would talk very slowly would be slow in everything suppose a fixed sign is rising 2 5 8 11 so that is uh, Taurus Leo Scorpio or Aquarius then what happens these people will always walk slowly <laughs> irrespective of the PSC as I said if some other planet like Mercury or uh, you know uh, Venus is aspecting then things will be different of course but most of the times this has come to true they will eat slowly they will talk slowly they will walk slowly these kind of things and then there are, you know, masculine and feminine genders also. I've seen people having, uh, you know, um, rising sign as feminine sign. Suppose uh, a Taurus, Taurus rising. And uh, a man who has, uh, you know, with a Taurus sign rising, I have seen that person is quite like feminine, you know. The features may be feminine. Very or maybe, you know, spoken that... I've seen. Sorry? Very soft spoken soft spoken and they will have features also you know they will have some features beautiful features Venetian sign right so they will be very beautiful fair looking though bull, like a you know bull but you know a big build but you know they will be more towards or maybe they'll be backbiting like women <laughs> that is also I've seen and their height like is them. also a bit less sometimes I've less, seen yes. the height yes. also is sometimes yes that is there yes but these are very general characteristics that I'm giving. Uh, yet they are, as I said, 70 to 80 percent, not 100 percent, not 90 percent, but 70 to 80 percent. They are correct. These which I will be sharing with you gradually. Yeah. So whoever is, is watching one... this, nobody should think, you yeah. know, we are giving a victim <laughs> for the 7 billion people. So it will depend on your individual chart and all the placements, as you said. So don't get worried if it doesn't match with you. Okay, you have. And it's a disclaimer. It's a disclaimer. Please, please do not yeah. take it in a general way. Though it is a general way, but don't specifically take it to your heart. Oh my God, uh, Vanita Madam said that this is going to happen. This is the personality trait. But my boyfriend is totally different. My wife maybe, is totally different. Maybe he's lying about his birth time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't think like this. <laughs> you have lived so many it years many live after this video okay so don't worry <laughs> yeah. yeah yes yes actually we'll be we'll be waiting for the comments uh, underneath when they will be just seeing this video so what i wanted to give an example here also uh, you know um, suppose there is an accident you know has uh, on the road when you go in india especially you know there, there is an accident there's a lot of crowd which uh, gets together and you know they want to jump into it or some just want to be silent spectator or something. Suppose it is uh, Aries rising or a Martian energy sign which is there in the Lagna, you know, which is the rising sign I've seen. People will, those people will get into that accident and they will go and slap also. They will be aggressive and they will be part of it also. That is something the Martian trait mainly. Uh, if it is a Scorpio one, he will just, you know, silently observe okay will be aggressive but will not be reactive that is a scorpio one if there is somebody with uh, leo i have seen with leo people you know they are aggressive but they are not reactive they will be like okay oh this happened okay but leo's are very opinionated i have seen yes they are and with Mercurian uh, sign, you know, Gemini or uh, if Mercury is in the Lagna or is, you know, something to do with Mercury, they will just go see everything, observe and then come back home and they will be like, exaggerate. bit by bit, they will explain each and everything. They will be talking and explaining about the incidents. That is the Mercury, the Mercurial trait. So this is an example that I gave, you know, uh, so... Of course, certain people are a little indifferent. They are there, yet they are not there. So that is something which happens. Jupiterians are also like, you know, very calm and quiet. They will be peacemaking, peace lovers. They're like that. Jupiterians I've seen, uh, either they are, you know, healthy or obese or they are slim. But irrespective of their body size, I've seen their 
face structure is very big i have seen sometimes yeah. not not big exactly but uh, how do i say this it's like uh, you can you can distinctly note that this person has jupiter linked with the ascendant i have seen i mean it's like their face is very big sometimes but their body is very slim sometimes or sometimes it can be both the other both the ways also because they say jupiter is the karaka for uh, fat also so it can sometimes happen that they have a tendency to gain weight more fast but even if that is not there i have seen their face is very broad and i can distinctly make out so either i have seen it's uh, not more with sagittarius and pisces rising but i have seen if jupiter is sitting or aspecting the ascendant then this happens i have seen yes yes that is there that is uh, I, uh, in my in my whole video there is a lot of times this will be repeated <laughs> that, you know if jupiter is no no it's fine if jupiter is you said the right thing absolutely because you you are also saying from your experience you have seen so many charts so you know the um, if if i my screen is guys freezing please forgive me because yeah, my internet freezing. is really unstable <laughs> i have been requesting i have been apologizing to my uh, you know audience also repeatedly because this is happening often because my house is right on the beach and very bad signals here so now i am going to start with the story there is a very uh, you know simplified story that i have made in my mind it was there so i just thought that is why i told baba ji that i can do this you know uh, we can talk on this so it is going to be a very simplified manner understanding uh, so that you know you all can be a part of the story and can understand easily when you see the 12 houses and the signs okay this is the trait so now as to as to what the you know you know what is the zodiac man the uh, uh, kal purush you know that how each and every sign and how each, uh, you know the houses are so well connected in this story you will understand that and the characteristics will come out in line night easily so you can make out so start with airy 